Adam Savage here in my cave with a tool tip today. It is about electronics. Now, I use electronics in my work. You know, I, I made these lights year, a couple of years ago. They were successful. Um, but I am not an electronics guy. I just want to be really clear. Like, I understand what a resistor is and what it does, and I can give you that waterfall analogy and water pressure analogy of amperage versus voltage and stuff like that. I kind of understand that stuff. But, like, I'm not a guy who could design a circuit, and I always need help with this kind of stuff, whether it's from Jeremy Williams or other friends of mine. Uh, I'm not an electronics guy, but I have always worked with wiring. I don't, I mean, I understand a lighting circuit. I know that if I have a nine volt bulb and I have a nine volt power supply, I know how to wire it through a switch. That's pretty straightforward. And the moment you are doing that kind of operation, wiring a light to a switch, you should be the owner of a multimeter, an electric, electronic multimeter. Now, this is a digital instrument that reads all sorts of aspects of electricity. And I wanna show you my first multimeter. Here it is. This is a uh, Fluke Model 77. I bought this in the early 90s at the Foothill College Ham Radio Electronics Swap Meet down uh, off the Moody Drive exit off of 280. And I, this was, a piece of unobtainium for me in the early 90s. This is probably, back then, this was like a $175 multimeter. I, I, that, was, that was way more money than I could consider for something like this. And I picked this up at Foothill, I think for 40 bucks. And it's still, actually, I think the battery's dead, but it's still operational almost 30 years later. Fluke, they are, I just have a lot of loyalty with Fruit. Greenlee also makes great equipment. Something about the yellow of a Fluke meter that just makes me super happy. Uh, and Fluke still is making electric meters. Um, they can tell you things like how much current is going through uh, a, a piece of electronics you're doing. I want to find out how efficient that motor is? This can tell you. You want to find out uh, the value of a resistor that the markings have worn off on? This can tell you. Want to find out how much voltage is coming out of the wall, whether it's AC or DC voltage? This can tell you. Again, I'm not an electronics guy and I still use these things all the time. But the fact is, is that flukes, even flukes entry level meters can still be somewhat expensive. So I'm here for a tool tip of an amazing thing I discovered while making Savage builds last year. And that is this. Fluke makes like a $50 version, a little handheld version of their multimeter. This thing is amazing. I would have killed for one of these in the early 90s. Dude, it's, same beautiful color scheme, uh, runs on uh, two AAA batteries. Uh, again, I have a lot of loyalty for Fluke because I think I've changed the battery on this maybe four times in 30 years, like seriously. Uh, they make efficient tools. Um, notice here, this is an artifact of using this on television. See those white dots? That's covering over the name Fluke. That's the kind of thing you have to do on, on, on cable television. I, it, as a side note, used to drive me crazy because you, when a producer sees a logo in camera, they say, hey, PA, production assistant, will you cover over that logo? And the PA usually goes and gets, seriously, the PA will solve this problem like this. They'll get a piece of tape and they'll see this logo and they'll put the piece of tape over the logo like this. I'm not kidding, I swear to God, I've had PAs do this to me so many times. And then you can't even see what you're using. The number of bottles that I'm sure are still in Jamie's shop where tape went over the label and Jamie doesn't know what's in that bottle because when you tore the tape off, it tore the... Okay, <laughs> that's just a total side rant. Bonus from this tool tip. Um, this is a fluke entry level multimeter and I'm here to tell you if you are like me, you like you know, you do some basic wiring and you understand the rudiments of electronics, get this, this is amazing. Um, and I will show you its most useful feature, continuity. What is that? Well, 
If you're working on a circuit and you're trying to figure out why it's not working, you can tell often that one of the main reasons it shouldn't work, sorry, how do I say this? Let's say you have a circuit and it's a battery with a wire to a switch to another wire to a bulb to a wire back to the battery. And you wire it all up and it doesn't work. Well, something's wrong in there. Either your bulb is out or the switch doesn't work or the battery's dead. Well, if you make sure the battery is good and you know how do you determine whether the, how, how do you work your way through that problem? With continuity. Um, and it goes like this. Continuity is a feature on almost every multimeter. You switch it to this little audio sound, and then I think you have on this one, yeah, you have to... There you go. Uh, so you switch it to the audio thing, you press this button, and now when you connect these two leads, That's called audible continuity. And audible continuity has saved my life so many times. So here you go to the switch and you touch it and you can tell whether the switch works or not. If you get continuity when the switch is supposed to be on, then you know the switch works. With that light bulb, if the filament on the bulb is out, you won't get continuity through the bulb. You can workshop your way through a circuit or through your car to figure out where the thing that is supposed to be connected into the circuit isn't. Audible continuity might be one of the, I mean, one of the most important reasons to own one of these things. That and the beautiful color of yellow. But Please don't consider anything that I've said as in any way properly instructional about electronics. I am a hack uh, and not a hacker. I am a hack and I mostly don't know what I'm talking about. But let me tell you, audible continuity, a $50 fluke meter, this is every bit worth putting in your kit. Uh, thank you guys for joining me for this one day build. I'll see you next time. This isn't a one day build. I'm on automatic pilot. Jeez, I'm crow. Thank you guys for joining me for this tool tip. I will see you next time.